Hello everyone, my name is Pandora and welcome back to Primrose Lake. In the last one we are at the Sessorial Society still trying to get evidence. The sheriff is trying to get evidence thinking Chip's involved with trying to hunt down these Clarys. So let's get started. The Clary Curse. You ever heard of the Clary Curse? Tell me about it. You showed up right after Robert James disappeared, so I assume you're familiar. What makes you think I, the one has to do with the other? I moved to Primrose Lake in 1986. The Primrose Jail has been vacant since the Onward Saloon closed. When was that? Sorry, my cat is going crazy. Knock it off. Sorry, my cat is going berserk for some reason. When was that? 1900s or so? Nineteen eighteen, the year JW went over the waterfall. Charlotte's idea to shut it down. I thought you were acknowledge of Primrose history. My mama taught me to know a lot and say very little. If you're going to keep asking questions, I'd like you to answer one for me first. Depends upon the question. Why are you here? Why don't you tell me more about the Clary Curse? If I like what you have to say, I'll give you an answer. Okay, it better be an honest answer. This is that there any other kind? Explain the curse to the sheriff.
three stars. Chester McLovin was was said to be one of the heck of an archaeologist. Geologist. You know what that means in these parts? Gold. They say Chester could read the land like a bird reads the air. Rumor has it, right before he died, he found a rich vein just this side of Old One Pass. Anyone else see it? Before or after he took a tumble off the cliff. Died while hunting for gold? That's a classic western tale. How do they how do they know he fell? JW found his body. He just stumbled upon it in those mountains. That sounds that's some kind of luck. Isn't it though? Sawyer sees Simorse at the sawmill. Sorry, guys. I'm putting my neck out of the line showing you this. Chip, it's my interest, all right. All right. Your neck is already on the line. Sawyer? Who the heck is Sawyer? I am Sawyer James Jr. Jr. Chip off the old block. Some name as my, same name as my dad. Your old man was always Mr. Evans to me. Sawyer, I'd be a fool to let that catch up to me after all this time. Little Bobby will take me somewhere safe, but you have a job to do. Who's little Bobby? Ox. Old Robert has a heck of sense of humor if he's calling that giant stars more little anything. You done? Track down my niece. Last I heard, she's somewhere in Boulder. I don't care how you do it, but you've got to get her here. You've got to be sure she stays. And that's she stays safe. Safe? That note makes no sense. Ox gave it to me right after old Robert disappeared. You mean little Bobby. He gave me that in an emblem full of something. And a box with pictures and keys. I don't know important Clary stuff. You don't know. I looked in, but I didn't dig around. Uh-huh. Well, Junior, I think you may be time to find out. And how do you suppose we do that? Maybe if we track down little Bobby, he'll have some idea. It sounds like the big ox knows a lot more than what he's saying. Maybe, but I'd like to check with Becca first. She knows more about Clary's than just about anybody. Archives and Amateur Historians. That's curious. I could have sworn I had a notary on this page. Is that your handwriting there? No, Charlotte. She was quite the amateur a historian. Truth be told, something in the Primrose Pristine Society is thanks to Charlotte. Are you sure you made a note on this page? Pretty sure. I've left notes in most of these books. 
looking for gold. Don't you blame me? Honestly, I might blame you if I hadn't. Mind if I take a turn? Be my guest. Serve copies to customers. Smell on my foot. Well, certain we've never seen a single word written about J.W. Striking it, striking it rich. As far as history is concerned, he made his money in lawn, lumber and booze. The Onway Saloon. It was the perfect location for men stumbling out of the past. There's got to be a hint somewhere in here. I've looked through these books a thousand times. You know what they say, thousands and one is the charm. Sorry, my little boy needs his nighttime medicine and it's like 10 o'clock. Usually he has it like 9.30, but with me recording everything kind of forgot what are you up to at this late hour becca you hear Chip, 
I saw the lights were still on. Honey, you look positively flurries. We we're looking for the Clary girl. Is that a coincidence? So am I. You think you'd slip into one of those books when no one was looking? A part of her, maybe. Isn't that what brings you here? Well, we've looked else about and everywhere else. You find any clues up there, Sheriff? You my deputy now, Mel Morehouse? Call me a concerned citizen. Mm-hmm. What about you, Chip? You worried that the Clary girl may have fallen into some harm? Don't you start that again. You don't think it's fair to ask why he's looking for her? Well, I... It's pretty cozy up here. Why don't you two come explain to me? Don't you say more than you have to. Remember what Robert James told you. Trust no one. Go three stars. All right, Mr. Evans, what's your story? Of course, you be so formal, Sheriff. It all depends upon what you say. 
Well, I guess it's no secret. I thought the Clary, the girl you locked up, was our real Clary girl. She says she gave her a box of stuff and passed it on to the rightful owner. Is it a wonder I'm looking for the other girl? I'm awful embarrassed. Alone in a strange town, nowhere to go. She must be scared to death. Scared? It's a pretty friendly town, wouldn't you say? Yes, well, of course, I... She... I always heard that place was haunted. It's not haunted. Someone's inside. Can you tell who? It's just shadows. Haunted. Or... We just found our missing Clary. Much adored about nothing. told you the light was on. Yeah, you're Captain Obvious. Still think it's a ghost? It's no ghost. Someone's in there. Stand back. There could be trouble. It's all you, Sheriff. It's Sheriff Dalton. You have, we have you surrounded. We're coming in. It's locked. Uh, Sheriff, why don't I take a crack at it? Pick the lock. Seriously? Someday you'll have to tell me how you know how to do that. It's Sheriff Dalton. You're trespassing on private property. Come out with your hands up. Oh. Good evening, Peggy. It's good to see you're keeping Primrose safe. I don't... But don't you know it's unwise to point a gun at your employer? Well, I don't know about anything else, but I've got a whole host of questions. You'd be the fool if you didn't. We're heading to the calf. If you want to know more, you'll have to come along. Ain't that exciting? They found the Clary girl. But that will be it for this part. I will see y'all all in the next part. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. If you want to, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.